Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get the modern flyouts in Windows 11 in the main release. We are talking about the main release because if you don't know, on the dev and the beta channels of the Windows Insider program in Windows 11, we already have the modern flyouts, but those will come in the main release, maybe somewhere around the summer or even in the fall of 2022. So there's still a few months until then, but until then we can try out a free app from the Microsoft Store that is gonna help us get the modern modern flyouts in Windows 11 because as you know we still have the old flyouts from Windows 8 Windows 10 so we would like a fresh start a modern flyout for the volume and also brightness sections of the operating system before starting the video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel if you enjoy these videos that I make and before talking about today's topic a quick message from our video sponsor this video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Converter. With HitPaw Video Converter, you can convert to and from more than a thousand video and audio formats, download media from 10,000 plus popular websites with a single click, and you even have the ability to apply simple edits to the files such as cut, merge, and more. To start the conversion process, simply select your video or audio file, and then select the format you want to convert to. After you select the output location, you can click on the convert button, and the conversion process will be done in seconds. The video conversion speed is 90 times faster without any quality loss using the lossless acceleration feature. Download HitPaw Video Converter from the links in the description today and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. In this video, we're gonna talk about an app that you can find on the Microsoft Store. As I've said, it is a free app and it is called Modern Flyouts. And this will update the flyouts also for the audio section and brightness. It has pretty good reviews from 235 ratings to have a 4.5 average is a really good thing. This is a good app. So until Microsoft releases the next version, which will be 22H2, maybe in the summer or in the fall, as I've said of 2022, we can use this app to replace this old flyouts from Windows Windows 8, Windows 10, as I've said. To get this app, simply search Modern Flyouts on the Store app or access the link that will be in the article down below in the description, and that link will redirect you to the official store page of Modern Flyouts. After you get on this page, just click on Get. The download process will start, and after the app is downloaded, the app will also be installed. As you can see, it is a pretty big app compared to others. It has 71 megabytes, but wait patiently, wait also for the installation process, and then you will be able Able to open the app. Click on open. Now the app is open. You're going to notice that it is opened in the system tray. We have here the tooltip and we can right click on it and we have two options. We have exit and also settings, which will be the settings of the app. Before going into settings and talking about how we can customize this app, let's see how the new flyouts look. And I'm going to use the scroll bar for my volume. And as you can see, it looks really, really nice. We can move this, which is really good. We can move it wherever we want. And we have here also the settings button to access it really quickly. We have this button, which will make the flyout jump to the original position. And we also have the P bar, which we can unpin and we can have this small little minimal flyout for the volume and also for the brightness, which looks pretty, pretty good. But if you want, you can leave it like that pinned and you can even exit. It is really good. If you ask me, it is really similar to the flyouts that we're going to get in Windows 11, but this flyout also has a lot more features and settings, but it is really similar design wise we have the level and also the slider which is really good let's go now into settings and see how we can customize this we have the general tab and of course you're gonna want to run this at startup and language you can leave it as system default and you have the default flyout you can select the default flyout of course make sure to have selected modern flyouts because you want these modern flyouts and of course on additional you can always reset all settings to defaults if something goes wrong and you don't like it we have the personalization thing where we can personalize this app quite a lot you can see we have flyout theme we can use the light theme which looks kind of like this but i actually like system default and you can use the system default also for the app theme in top bar visibility you can choose wherever you want this top bar to be visible or to be auto hidden or collapsed you can even leave it as collapsed so you cannot access it but i think the auto hides option is pretty pretty good and once you hover over here this will expand it and you can close it if you want of course you have the options show icon on system tray area used colored tray icon and also fade animation 
and here you have the flyout timeout which is right now 2750 milliseconds but you can make it a little bit less if you want so right now if I'm using the volume it will stay here for about two and a half seconds something like that so I think that is really really good we also have the layout so we can select the preferred display monitor to show the flyout on and we can have the placement mode on auto or manual as you saw it automatically appeared in the top left side but we moved it wherever we want and it saves the position that we dictated to stay in we also have the appearance flyout expand direction and we can expand it up down left or right but in my case I'm gonna leave it on auto and also flyout content stacking direction ascending or descending and we have the flyout modules for audio here and we have a few settings for example you can enable or disable the audio flyout and you have here also some interesting options you have some general options and also media with thumbnail alignment you also have the thumbnail for the media that you are currently controlling which is really good in the brightness section you only have the enable or disable the brightness flyout of course you have the airplane mode with the same option and also lock keys where you have the same option and also select the keys you want to show the flyout for caps lock num lock scroll lock or insert so for example I'm going to use num lock you can see that we have a nice little animation that tells us that now num lock is on which I think it's really really good so this is the app modern flyouts that we're talking about in this video I hope you like it and if you do and you want to try it on the main release as I've said because it will take some time until Microsoft adds the new flyouts in the main release from the dev embedded channel you can try the modern flyouts app from the Microsoft store for free we're going to have a link down below in the article or you can search directly for modern flyouts in the Microsoft store I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one I was Emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day